I literally almost threw up. Sizzle, sizzle, fry, fry. Okay, just a small emergency. Good morning. You look for the light and you find the cat. Good morning, Harry boy. Where's Ollie boy? There you are, you were hiding behind the exercise bike. Good morning, buddy. How are you today? I um, was just cleaning the kitchen, like, furiously, like. Amazing. And Whoa. then I was Look like. Look at this, it's a clean kitchen. I literally almost threw up. Really? I, well, I just took my pills a little while ago, and I think it was just like all the movement. So I was like, oh no. I, I grabbed a Zofran, and took it, and threw the fan on, and got in Martin's bag, and sat on the couch. Like, I'm legit gonna throw up. But Crazy. I didn't. Oh, good. I didn't throw up. I'm so glad. So, we have clean kitchen. Thank you, honey. I got a couple of little succulents together, so we're gonna go drop those off at a friend's house, and have a couple errands to run. Yeah? We might need to buy a new fridge. Our fridge is freezing things and we have it turned down and yeah. like it's a good temperature well normally it's a good temperature in there and then all of a sudden it like freezes things and then our freezer we don't know what happened to it but everything got covered in snow like a, icy like a stuff weeks ago a week or two ago and then we realized i think it might have like thawed out and then refrozen we have no idea no idea so we are thinking about probably needing a new fridge. So we'll see what happens. But we've actually been needing extra freezer space. Yeah. So. Um, Apparently the well, dish soap was sitting in the floor. Well, yeah, because it's the one that is too strong for us. Okay, so, so are we. We could give it to our neighbor. Okay, good. Um, anyway, we've been thinking about getting in another like freezer potentially. Yeah. So we'll probably just put this one in the garage. And yeah. I'm pretty sure it'll stay cold. Yeah. I don't know, my guess is this drawer situation doesn't work super great for us. Yeah. So I'm thinking that it got jammed and it wasn't quite closed. That's my guess. So I think it still freezes stuff, but. Anyway. Anyways, we're figuring all that out and let's go run these errands. Did you already edit? I didn't. You didn't? Did, is there, are we staying? I was also thinking about getting groceries. Interesting. Okay. Okay. We'll decide. Yeah. We are back and we stopped at Aldi and here is what we got. Milk, croissants, lettuce, mango, tomato, blackberries, blueberries, Peppers, onions, cucumbers. This has been a really delicious snack jam for me. Whole milk, plain yogurt. I shake it up like a whole ton until it's like as liquidy as it can get, you know, like that. Shake it up and then frozen mini chocolate chips. That's how I like it. Coconut milk, we have a plan. I have a plan for those. We have three avocados and three mangoes in here. And then what did you get? He oh. got white cheddar puffs. My bad. No, that's good. <laughs> Two boxes of tissues, brownies, some double, double filled Foreos. Oreos? Fake Oreos. <laughs> and then cinnamon raisin bread, fruit grain bars, whole wheat or wheat crackers, and then raisin bran. There we go. Oh, whoops. Two things of seltzer water and then his coconut LaCroix. Have you had those? You've had those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like them? Yes. Actually, nope. I missed it. That's not. That's not everything. Oranges, bacon, and chicken. All normal things here. We also found on the sale rack, they had this hairless cat 
Um, also known as a skin cat. Skin or cat. A flesh nugget. Or... Did we bring home a flesh nugget? <laughs> Harry, <laughs> you silly. <laughs> really? Hi. Oh, I love you too. Oh, I love your stretches. Is that right? Really? You know, just cooking lunch or dinner, late lunch, and Harry just needs some snugs, but he's gonna have to wait just a couple minutes. Our plan is to use the coconut milk for some curry coconut chicken. This is the red chili paste that I use. Thai kitchen, any grocery store, except Aldi. Aldi doesn't have it. But I had a half a can, half a jar in the fridge, so I'm gonna use that up. I'm gonna use this onion, so let's put a little bit of avocado oil down and start this pan up. Get it, sizzling, sizzle, sizzle, wait, what? Sizzle, sizzle, fry, fry. If you've been around for a long time, you probably remember the term sizzle, sizzle, fry, fry. I don't even remember when it started, but it started and it's here to stay. Excited. You finished editing? I did. Sounds like your computer's working really hard, so that means it's uploading. It's rendering, yeah. And here is our lunch liner. Yeah, some more. Oh no, it's okay. Mmm. Yum. Okay, just a small emergency. Um let's go take a look at my flowers. We just wanted to come out and lay in the sun. Hopefully 
they're gonna be okay. Are you guys gonna be okay? I think they might be okay. Uh, I have loved these zinnias so much. They have to be okay, they just have to be. All right, let's tip these guys back up. Wow, look at that. All of these branches. Oh, okay, it's two stems, one, two. Wow, that's crazy. And these guys are taller than me. Okay, wowzy. Maybe I should put these in the tomato cage as well. But I don't really know how that would work. Hmm. I may have thought of a solution. Tie it up to the tomato cage. We'll see. I think it worked. And here are my, my harvest. Here's my harvest. <laughs> Flower harvest. Uh-oh. Oh dear. All right. I refreshed my, <clears throat> my flowers that I already had in here. I cut all of the leaves off. One of you guys told me that will help them stay fresh longer and that. Wow. When I dumped that out, there was so much like slimy algae weirdness. So I now see what you mean by that. And there we go. And the next plan is we are going to try, one of you guys also told us that you had the same problem with the fridge, freezing in the fridge and whatever, like being inconsistent with temperature control. And side note, one of the reasons we really don't want that to happen, one of my medications, Palmazyme, Dornay's Alpha, cannot be frozen and so it's important that our fridge doesn't freeze my medicine so you said you had a repairman come out he pulled the fridge out and vacuumed behind the fridge now i think the back of ours we just looked at the back is solid so there's not much to vacuum there but we're thinking we'll vacuum under it just to make sure we'll give it a try Peter just reported that it is a lot of dust under there, so this might work. All right, I cleaned down under the fridge. Let me tell you, it was very dirty under there. There was like a sheet of dust. The fridge came with the house when we bought it a year ago, and we haven't really thought anything about the fridge since we moved here. And I don't know the last time the fridge was moved it, or like how old the fridge is, or anything like that. So I guess it was good that we cleaned it out and I used this lint lizard. It's one of these as seen on TV products that it Mary- It literally sounds like a sponsored pump. Oh man, it doesn't sound like- ah, Do it as if it's sponsored. Okay, the, today's vlog is sponsored by lint lizard. Just kidding, it's not. But I will say that little thing, all it is, this is kind of like a really dumb thing, but it it's- works. It's really useful. It just attaches to your vacuum and it's like a long flexible hose. It's literally like a cut off hose. You might be thinking we can make that from medical supplies. Yeah, we could. You would be right. So, moral of the story is if you have nebulizer tubing and duct tape, you could probably make a lint lizard on your vacuum. Does that sound interesting? Is that a deer hoof? No. I don't know, I just stepped on it. Friend. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it looked like a small um, horseshoe, but I guess um, deer don't have horseshoes. Wipe it off. Oh yeah. Do you want me to get you a rag? That's probably a good idea. Yeah.
Okay, well, we went outside, pulled the table out, and Peter spray painted it. So yes. it'll match our... I'm excited, and like, I when I was walking back from spray painting the table, I saw the wood color, and I was like, this kind of looks so good. I love Because that. I think the wood color of, I'm talking about the brownish, orangish slats. slats that we put up. I think it looks really good with the gray, but I think it looks even better with black. Yes, that contrast. And so I think it's gonna look really nice on the table, tie everything together. Well, those are our adventures for the day. What did you guys do today? In the comments, write a five word. Ooh, summary of your day. Okay, <laughs> as always. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.